Today we're going to be reviewing our work on fractions, addition, subtraction, multiplying, dividing, and looking at some past paper questions for the National 5 Maths 2022 exams. So let's start with addition of mixed numbers. We've got 3 and 2 thirds plus 4 and a half. So we can do 3 plus 4 to start with and get 7. And then we've still got 2 thirds plus 1 half. Adding fractions means we need a common denominator. Easiest way to do that is times the denominators together. So 2 times 3 is 6. And a nice way to visualise two fractions times together, well, 2 thirds has been times by the bottom denominator 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And a half has been times by the other denominator 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. So I get a little cross. 4 plus 3 equals 7 over 6 which I can change to a mixed number, one and a sixth. So putting my answers all together, three plus four is seven, plus another one is eight, and one sixth, and we're done. Alternatively, you could have changed each of the fractions, the mixed numbers to improper fractions, and then added them, but then you would have had to simplify your answer, and you could leave your answer as an improper fraction, or you could change it back to a mixed number. Okay, let's look at a couple of examples of subtraction of mixed numbers. So I've got 4 and 2 thirds minus 3 and a half. So I can do 4 minus 3 to start with and get 1. And then I've still got 2 thirds minus 1 half. So again, common denominator, 3 times 2 gives me 6. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So I get a sixth. So the final answer, just putting it together, is 1 and a sixth. Let's look at the second example. So the second example says 7 and 1 fifth minus 2 and a third. So I can do 7 minus 2 and get 5. And I've still got 1 fifth minus a third. So common denominator, 5 times 3 equals 15. So I get two fractions with 15, a minus in between. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5. Notice this time I get 3 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths. So the answer I get is a negative answer, minus 2 over 15. So if I want to put that together, I've got 5 take away 2 fifteenths. So I drop down to 4. And if you imagine a pizza, I've got 15 slices. I take away 2 slices. So I've got 13 slices left over, 13 out of 15. Of course, there's other ways to do these. This is just one way. Again, you could have turned them into improper fractions first and then just took away and then simplified your answer. And you could leave your answer as an improper fraction or a mixed number. And there's obviously other ways as well, but this is just one way. Okay, let's multiply some mixed numbers. When you've got three and a half times two and a fifth there. Now, common mistake here, don't make it. You cannot do three times two and a half times a fifth, because you've missed some of the sums, because you've not then done three times, say, a fifth, or you've not done two times a half. So to avoid all that nonsense, we always turn, when it's times and divide, fractions, mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's start there. Three and a half, so I do, how many halves make three? Three times two, that's six, plus an extra one. So I've got seven halves times. And the same with the fifths, I'm asking how many fifths make, are in two? Two fives are ten. Ten plus an extra one makes eleven. So I've got eleven fifths. And now the sum is very simple. You can just times the top and times the bottom. And if you can simplify at this stage, you can or wait to the end. So I'm just going to times seven times eleven is seventy-seven over two times five is ten. And at this stage, you can either simplify your answer and leave it as an improper fraction or you can change it back to a mixed number. I'm going to change it back to a mixed number just for the fun of it. So 10 goes into 77 seven times with a remainder of 7 left over. So 7 and 7 tenths would also be a good answer. Okay, division works in a very similar way to times, but there's a little thing you have to do as well. But first thing I'm going to do, any mixed numbers will change to improper fractions. So we've got three quarters to start with, divided by... Well, I've got fifths, so I've got five fifths plus two fifths makes seven fifths. Or, to put it another way, one times five plus two is seven. Now, divide. 
to divide by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. What does that mean? Well, it just means you do three quarters, divide turns into times, and seven fifths turns into five sevenths. It flips upside down, I suppose you could think it. Five sevenths. And now it's easy. Three times five is 15. Four times seven is 28. Little check at the end, is there any numbers that go into 15 and 28? No, I cannot, there's no numbers that go into 15 and 28, so I'm done. Okay, 2018, paper one, question one, quite a common question to turn up. Evaluate two and a third plus four fifths. So the first thing I'm going to do is do my third plus my four fifths. Three times five is 15. So that's my common denominator. One times five is five for the first fraction. 4 times 3 is 12. Putting it together, I get 12 plus 5 is 17 over 15. Changing it back to a mixed number, I get 1 and 2 fifteenths. Because 15 goes into 17 one time with 2 remainder. So the answer to the question, I've got 2 remember. So I've got 2 plus 1 and 2 fifteenths. Which means I've got 3 and 2 fifteenths. Again, remember, the only way you could have done this question is to change the two and a third into an improper fraction and then add it and simplify it. Okay, 2015, paper one, question one again, so non-calculator, six and a fifth minus two and a third. So the first thing I'll do is I'll deal with the whole number parts. So I do six, take away two, and I get four. Now I can do a fifth minus a third. Common denominator is 15. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5. 3 fifths teams minus 5 fifteenths. Don't make a mistake, it's not 2. It's minus 2 fifteenths. So when I get a ne negative answer, then my final answer, I started with 4, so I drop down to 3. Imagine again I've got 15 fifteenths. 15 pieces of pizza, I take away two, so I've got 13 left over. So I've got 13 fifteenths left. One quick and easy way to think of that is, if you look at the denominator 15, 15 take away, the numerator two is 13, so it's 13 fifteenths. Okay, 2016, paper one, question two. Three quarters, brackets, a third plus two sevenths. So bid mass gets involved here. I do the bits inside the brackets first, then I times the bit outside. So the first thing I'm going to do is a third plus two sevenths. Common denominator is 21, three times seven. One times seven is seven, plus two times three is six. Seven plus six is 13, so we get 13 out of 21. Oh, we've got three quarters times the answer we just got, 13 out of 21. Now, at this stage, you can simplify after you do the times or before. You can always simplify uh, with a times, but you can't do it with a, an add for fractions. So, here we go. We can simplify by dividing by 3 to get 1, divide by 3 to get 7. Now, the sum becomes a lot easier. So, that means we've got 1 times 13, and we've got 4 7 is 28. 13 out of 28. Just double check if there's any more simplification I can do. I know there isn't, but there's no numbers that go into 13 and 28, so I'm done. Okay, 2017. Paper 1, question 3 says, evaluate 1 and 5 sixths divided by 3 quarters and give your answer in its simplest form. So we change the mixed numbers into fractions first. So 1 and 5 sixths, 1 times 6 is 6, plus 5 is 11. So that becomes 11 over 6 divided by three quarters. So that becomes 11 over six. Dividing by a fraction is the same as times and by its reciprocal. So flip the second one upside down, four thirds. We can now simplify in advance or at the end. So I can divide this one by two to get two, this one by two to get three. And then our final answer becomes 11 times two is 22. 3 times 3 is 9. Just double check, there's no more simplification. There is not. At this stage, I can leave my answer like that. I do not have to change it back to a mixed number. So that's fine. If I did change it back to a mixed number, 
I will get two and four knives. This has been Kyle Mastery. We've done a review of fractions for the National 5 2022 exams. Take care, stay safe, and goodbye.